Hi everyone, Destiny Faye here from New You The Real World. So I have Jonathan Fulton here with us today, one of the speakers from the Understanding Money Conference. And when you're ready, Jonathan, I'll just let you share a little bit about yourself with us. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Destiny. And um, uh, hi, everybody. I'm not sure if this is working on Facebook Live. We're um, trying some technology that I'm not uh, overly familiar with. So whether it's coming live on Facebook, I'm not 100% sure, but... Um, if it is, hi, if anybody's um, there and, and watching the interview. Um, so just to give you a little bit of uh, an overview, I suppose, a little bit of background about me and what I do in terms of the uh, financial services industry. I've been involved in financial services since approximately 2003. So I've been operating for about 14 years in, in this space, uh, predominantly in, in mortgage broking. Um, and at that time, uh, it wasn't a, a legislated industry, it, it is now. So there's a lot more compliance that we're required to um, adhere to. So I have a, um, an Australian credit license uh, through my company. My company is an Australian credit license and I'm a, a representative authorised through, through my company to give credit advice. Um, I do have a fairly unique set of skills in that I've also got an authorised um, representative status as a uh, financial advisor through a, um, a financial planning dealer group. Um, and I also individually am uh, licensed with regards to property sales. So those three key areas in terms of credit advice, financial planning advice, and, uh, and real estate are the three areas that I focus on. Um, and I guess I just need to point out as well and, and clarify that with those licenses that I hold, that does also make um, the requirement uh, necessary for me to say that anything that I uh, discuss in terms of uh, finance and financial advice is of a general nature and nothing that I say should be taken as uh, personal financial advice. We do offer personal financial advice, but that needs to be to an individual and you need to um, uh, contact me and we go through that process. So that's just my, um, my, my standard disclaimer that, um, that I need to ensure um, that you're aware of. But those three key areas have um, o over time given me a fairly uh, wide and broad range of experience in uh, financial services, financial planning, financial advice. And so that's, that's where I come from. And um, in terms of my background, uh, not from banking, certainly from broking. And prior to that, I was in um, the uh, hospitality industry and also in um, outdoor education and training. So I've got a broad, varied um, expansive experience in, in, a, in a wide range of areas, but specifically what we're um, looking at at this particular conference and what I'll be chatting to the youths about is um, uh, money and how um, they should expect to uh, um, interact once they leave school with the real world in terms of um, how money is required and um, how they'll earn their money what they need to do to save money and so on. So that, that's the area that I'll be um, that I'll be chatting about at the conference. Perfect. Thank you so much. That was okay. a wonderful intro. Um, so the first question that I have for you today is: In your experience, where does money and cash come from? Um, okay. Well, I suppose from personal experience, um, money. Uh, is earned through three different key areas. Uh, one is from personal exertion, so through wages, salary, um, working it for, um, uh, for other people and, and being remunerated for your time. The second is uh, through business and um, operating and investing in business and, and generating a income through um, uh through entrepreneurial business enterprise. And the third is through investment. Um, 
So predominantly uh, real estate, but there are obviously a number of areas um, of investment that are available um, to earn an income, whether you're um, involved in, in real estate in the, um, uh, in the share market or in um, other alternative investments that are available. So those are the three real key areas um, from personal experience that, that money is um, earned. Perfect, thank you. Um, the next question that I have for you today is, what do you think the benefits of the Understanding Money Conference is going to have on our youth and on our future? Well, hopefully it'll give people at youths a little bit of an insight that they perhaps haven't already um, uh, gained through um, uh, school. And um, obviously at a, at, a, at a young age, um, there's, there's limitations to what the, the kids will have learnt um, and certainly very limited experience in terms of um, how the world works and how, how money is earned. So hopefully it'll give the user a little bit of an insight into um, how things operate and also obviously with all the diverse speakers that are, that are going to be present, there'll be a whole range of different things that, that they'll learn. Um, and a whole range of different things that people will be will be chatting about and discussing. So I'm sure that there'll be something for everybody, and at least a snippet that um, that that each um, each kid or each youth can take away will be um, hopefully invaluable. I completely agree. So with with all this um, education and information and all these new things happening, how do you? foresee uh, this sort of education with both adults and our youth making a difference on the future? How do you see the, the um, how do you see the financial industry and the education industry changing in the future with these types of conferences and education around? Well, one of the key areas I suppose that we endeavour to do and, and have for a while is to educate our clients. I, I work with a, a, a small number of clients. It's not en masse. I have um, a, a, a core group of clients and I do take on new business and new clients through referrals, um, but it's about educating people around money, how to make the money work um, for you um, rather than you having to continually work for the money. Um, and about these different um, opportunities that are available and, and how to just um, work, work smarter rather than harder. So um, financial education, I think, is, is, um, is very important. Um, and um, so I guess depending too on what electives the children or the, the, the youths have opted for at school, um, if they've you know, opted for commerce and they've opted for, um, uh, for um, financial studies, um, if that's available within their curriculum. Um, I know we did commerce when I was at school, which is a long time ago. Um, so we had a, a basic overview of the stock market and, and how, um, um, how commerce trade and the A's to trade work. Um, but it's not everybody at school, I suppose, that elects those particular subjects. So um, what, what we would be endeavouring to do through conferences like this, and um, uh, I, I imagine, it, it is to provide that information to a wider um, audience, to, um, uh, to kids and youths that perhaps haven't opted for those electives and, and give them a bit of an overview as well. Um, so, um, yeah, hopefully also making it fun. I think that's the other point, like the, for the kids, to take it in, obviously it's got to be broken up with some other activities, which as I understand it is what's happening at the conference. So there'll be some, some fun activities as well in terms of health and well-being and um, nutrition included in that. So um, uh, finance is just one of the key components that's required for a, um, you know, a, uh, a happy life. Um, and, um, and I think that's important to get across to the, to the kids as well. Indeed, it surely is. It's all about having that balance in general. Um, so the next question that I have for you today is, um, yeah. 
if you had something like this in your youth, um, how do you think it would have benefited your life? And also um, how do you think it may have potentially changed your life as well? Well, I, I guess the reality is that things are really quite different to uh, when I was at school to how they are now in terms of what the, the youths will be looking at doing when they leave school and, and what um, career paths might be chosen. And, and um, I, I would hesitate a guess that, you know, the, the people who will really benefit will be those that have a little bit of a entrepreneurial spirit about them and are looking at um, different ways in which they might be able to operate in the business space um, and, and and gain some uh, insight and and, um, and and some ideas and hopefully some valuable info that might help set them up uh, for the future with regards to their own businesses um, and what it is that they they might choose to do to um, um, set themselves up. So I go back to what we started with and what we discussed at the beginning and that I think those three sort of critical areas to understand um, that are perhaps not, you know, taught initially at, at school, but that there are three key areas when it comes to um, um, supporting yourself through life in terms of earning money and one is wages and um, salary, working in a, in a, in a career um, and working for a, an employer. The second is business. Um, operating uh, your own business and investing in uh, business and yourself. And then the third is um, investing in um, assets that will increase in value um, potentially over time and or um, provide income. So it's looking at those three different ways in which money can be earned and um, and I, I'm providing guidance on that. So. I would hope that if we can provide that insight at a relatively early age, um, then then that might help the youths that participate um, with um, the pathway that they choose through life to um, to, to provide for themselves. Um, and, and I might just point out too that my presentation at the at the conference is um, is is fairly sort of mainstream in terms of um, the, the basics around money. Uh, so it's it's aimed at and designed for um, high school students between grades 10 and 12. Uh, it is a, a presentation that I've been given permission to, um, um, to, to provide through the Mortgage and Finance Association of Australia, and it was designed for World Money Week. So it's to give kids an insight into what to expect when they leave school so that it's relevant to them at the age that they're at now um, and, and how to go about doing some of the basic things that are required to, uh, to manage their money um, as they leave school. Terrific, and that's so important um, because, you know, they say that having, having knowledge and understanding of things is, is the best way to be empowered and to be able to make the right choices um, so I'm really, really grateful to be able to hear your presentation along with the conference. And the last question that I have, um, unless anybody else that's out there watching has any questions um, around the conference or just around um, finances in general, uh, based on anything Jonathan has said. So make sure that you comment below if you're watching on Facebook. I know there's a few people out there watching at the moment. So thank you for tuning in. The last question's around what do you believe is going to be the most engaging and exciting things at this conference for our youth to want to come along or for adults to want to bring their youth along to be engaged? Well, as I said, I think it's a combination of things. I, I, the, obviously, the conference is about money, handling money, and, and, and how to plan for, for your future. Um, get some insights, hopefully, as to what your options are. Um, and there's a whole range of diverse speakers um, and, uh, and a whole range of different um, financial opportunities that will be discussed in terms of now, the future and the history uh, when it comes to, uh, to, to money and finance. And as I said, keeping it relevant, making it fun. So. Come along and, and have a little bit of uh, 
enjoyment really at the same time, a bit of fun as well as learning uh, some of the important stuff um, around money, around uh, health and wellness, around um, nutrition and all of those sort of imp- r- life skills that are important to understand um, so that you can you can have a, uh, a happy life and um, um, and also a, um, uh, a a profitable one. Perfect. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure chatting with you today, and I am really excited to hear you present at the conference. So for anyone tuning in that's unfamiliar with the conference, it's going to be on the 26th of August on the Saturday. Um, it's going to be from 8 p.m. at Twin River Community Centre in Eagleby. And we have a Facebook um, event that is on the New You, The Real World Facebook page, which we're live streaming to. So if anybody that's been viewing this is unfamiliar with this. Um, Also, if you know someone, if you're not in Australia or Queensland yourself who may be interested, please make sure to invite them or tag them. Um, There is only um, 90 tickets available. So if you are interested and you are in the area and available to come, please make sure that you purchase your ticket so you ensure to come along. So the the adult purchases ticket and then brings a youth along for free. There will also be a hip hop group performing and an array of speakers, just like um, Jonathan Fulton, on all sorts of different uh, topics around uh, money and how to feel empowered and understand money. So if we've got any questions um, from anybody who's watching at the moment, please make sure to comment so we can answer them. And if you make a comment when we're no longer live, we'll make sure to get them answered for you afterwards. So I don't think there's any questions at the moment. Thank you, everyone who um, has tuned in to watch this. And I look forward to catching up with you at the conference. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Pleasure. Thank you. And thanks very much if you're tuned in and um, haven't been able to comment on Facebook Live because we're running on a different program. I can't actually see it on Facebook Live. But thanks um, for watching. And um, hopefully we'll, we'll see you at the conference. And thanks very much, Destiny. Appreciate it. Thanks, thanks for the, taking the time to interview me. And if anyone has any questions for Jonathan, um, we will make sure that he's able to reply to them um, at, at a later date when he's able to get to Facebook Absolutely. and get to the video. So thank you all so much. Great. Have a wonderful morning, evening, night. Wherever you are. Thanks very much. Thanks, Destiny. Thanks, everybody. You're welcome. Bye.